So I'm sitting here in Tokyo on a hot August night. The summers here in Japan are very hot and humid and they make it uh, rather difficult to sleep at times. Fortunately for us modern folks, we have air conditioning and electric fans to see us through. But in the old days, they didn't have any of this. And to deal with um, the oppressive heat and humidity that Japanese summers bring, um, the people of old times would tell ghost stories. You see, uh, ghost stories would bring on that cold fear, bring those icy fingers down the spine, make your blood run cold, give you goosebumps. Uh, so you can kind of see uh, in Japan, that uh, in the old Japan, that uh, telling ghost stories in summertime was uh, old-fashioned, all-natural air conditioning. And given today that we're worried about global warming and the sad state of the economy, I think a good way to uh, solve that problem, uh, both of those problems, would be to turn off our air conditioners and uh, just tell ghost stories at night. So to support my idea of saving energy and helping to reduce uh, global warming by telling ghost stories, I will tell um, a ghost story as well. Well, sort of a ghost story. The story I'm going to tell is an old Japanese story uh, that is not so much about a ghost, but about a cursed kimono that caused great uh, destruction and death. Over um, almost uh, 400 years ago, when Tokyo was known then as Edo, there was a young girl um, walking out amongst the crowds of the day, and she happened to spy a handsome young samurai. She had never seen him before, but she was instantly struck by his beauty and she remembered the kimono that he was wearing that day, the colors, the designs, and she stared at him as long as she could, in drinking in his beauty, but eventually he disappeared into the press of the crowd, and the girl couldn't find him, so she went home, and she decided to make a kimono of her own, um, based on the memory of the kimono she saw the handsome samurai wearing. Now, she was an uh, unmarried girl, and unmarried girls traditionally wear a type of kimono known as a hurisode, which is a long-sleeved uh, kimono, meaning that uh, the sleeves going down from the arms uh, go down almost to their knees. So she made a hurisode, a long-sleeved kimono, uh, based on the remembrance of the design and colors of that samurai's kimono. She was hoping that if she wore it, uh, perhaps that samurai would see it and find her and um, would love her. So she made the kimono and she wore it often and went out looking for that samurai, but she never saw him again. And she never met anyone that knew of him or the design of the kimono that he wore. Eventually she pined away for him. Uh, she got weak and eventually wasted away and died. Her family took her kimono and gave it to the temple that they frequented. In those days it was common to uh, give the garment of the dead to the local temple. The temple turned around uh, and sold the kimono, seeing that it was such um, expensive material. Uh, they quickly were able to find a buyer, and a young girl, about the same age as the girl who made the kimono, uh, she wore it for one day, and then 
she fell sick and died shortly after. Though some said that she, before she died, she complained about being seen a haunting, uh, a beautiful samurai. Well, her parents also gave the kimono to the temple. And the temple, showing more financial sense than common sense, they turned around again and sold it to another family with a teenage daughter. That teenage daughter wore the kimono one day, and she too sickened and died. And she also complained about uh, a handsome shadow of a man that haunted her. The temple, once again, <laughs> showing a lack of uh, common sense, sold the kimono one more time, and the same thing happened. The young girl wore the kimono for one day, and then she too sickened and died. At last, the temple, when receiving the kimono from the grieving family, realized that this kimono was cursed and decided to burn the kimono in the temple courtyard. So the uh, head priest or abbot uh, had a fire built and took the kimono out there and put it on the fire. Uh, different versions uh, differ on what happened next, but what is believed what happened is that the kimono when the fire was, uh, when it, the fire struck it, leaped from the fire and spread from building to building, spreading that fire with it. And pretty soon the fire grew and grew and became a huge fire that consumed most of Edo uh, and burned for three days. Over half of Edo was destroyed in those three days and over a hundred thousand people lost their lives in the fire. Even the Shogun's uh, castle was only saved by great effort, but everything else around it was destroyed. And when the fires burned out after three days, bodies still laid in the street for several days more because the smoke was so thick that they couldn't remove those bodies. In history, that fire is known as the Meireki fire, the great fire, uh, but others know it as the Hurusode fire, the long sleeve kimono fire. The uh, this story should be a lesson to young ladies out there that they shouldn't pine away for uh, young handsome men that could be uh, spirits, because some believe that the samurai that the first girl fell in love with really was an evil spirit who put the desire in the girl to make that cursed kimono which in the end killed three other girls and caused such a great fire that killed so many people and also it should be a lesson to uh, merchants uh, that if you sell a garment that ends up killing more than two people, uh, you should stop. <laughs>